so strong that place. Hey Mary, I'm gonna, Mary, I'm gonna record just a little bit, not for uh, putting it out in public, but just so we have it on uh, in our site. If you're gonna okay. walk and show us some stuff. So unfortunately, um, her bed is. Be I'm showing you it, her bed now, but the other artifacts are behind this locked door, so I can't <laughs> open the door unless the uh, sisters have a key, which I'm sure they do. But is you there can a see rock her outside. I'm kidding. Go ahead. Huh? <laughs> I said, is there a rock you can find outside to get through there? Yeah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Sure. Right. Yeah. So, but there's a lot of good stuff already out. out. So let me show you that. So this is her bed, and you also see. Yeah. I think her will. There's, there's Italian speaking behind me and they're, they're loud. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's the wheelchair that they took her out in the garden. And I'll show you that in a second if you guys. Uh, second. All right. So walk down the hallway. And of course, this is the Daughters of Zeal convent. And um, they're redoing the um, Association of Louisa Picaretta. So that's why all of her stuff is here now. Big statue of. Big statue of um, St. Anthony. Well, I gotta get my. I'm so sorry. This is spinning, guys. Don't get a headache. Okay. Right. Let me show you this. I have never seen this, but this was uh, in a room. Look at our Jesus. Oh, come on. I don't know how to get my hand camera. Look at the sun behind him. Like, you see that sun with our Blessed Mother? I've never seen a statue like this before, but this was in Louisa's. Um, and is that that that's weird? weird. Specifically, you see Mama Mary holding him, and here, like, right, the son is basically holding him. Right. Anyway. And his okay. wound is open. In his heart. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. This. And they're praying a rosary in the chapel. Come on. All right. All right. So look at this, guys. There's her relics of her blood. Wow. Ah, I'm the worst with the camera. All right. So if I go left, then you can see it. There you go. So they actually do have some relics of her hair and some of her blood. Um, there's a blessed mother in the nativity that she would pray to or she'd have in her room this is the bust of our blessed mother she had in our room um there's her needlepoint stuff oh i'm not getting good you're doing well mary you're there's doing, a it's coming through fine it's coming yeah. through good it looks good okay it's just that I, okay, and then they got great pictures of her funeral and her at her funeral. I know we have this in her diary, but not as many as there are pictures here. Um, okay, Mary, if I go like this and I go back out, you can see. Yeah, I think it's because of the camera. There you go. There you go. All right. So remember, remember this picture in the book? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys remember this picture of praying to the Jesus? Mm -hmm. yeah. Here it is. Oh, that's oh. our Jesus. Same. Wow. Oh. oh my gosh. He hasn't talked to me yet. Okay. They're praying the rosary in here, and I don't really want to disturb them, so I'm going to do my don't best. I'm not going to talk as I go in there. I'm just going to show you something, and I'll come out, okay? Yep. Yeah. We're going too deep in the house. Oh, so that's why I should stop. It could be that the internet gets up. It's left inside the pump it. But you said, as you 
Mary's altar, but the tabernacle used to be right next to her in the convent over where she slept in her bed. Okay. Um, Uh, here it is, guys. This is the garden that they would take her out to when um, they would change her sheets. I think they only took her out what they say. I haven't gotten to that part yet, but once once a year. That's the feathers really? in the bed. Why change the feathers in the bed um, once a year? Yeah. Yeah. So there's that picture with the arched window. So it's right here. Well, there we go. Yeah. Here is where she'd sit. You can see the arched windows. Yeah. yeah. Um, everything is like a mile. It's not even a mile, like a half a mile at the most. All three houses that she lived in and uh, St. Mary Greca, St. Mary of Greece, um, church, uh, where she's, where her tomb is. And then we just had mass at Mary Major where she was baptized. So, um, but it's still really not known here in Corrado, but isn't that the story that the, the you're not known in your own hometown? Yeah. Um, it's just amazing, absolutely amazing. Sisters are really, I mean, just, they spoil you. Um, I, I, there's no reason not to come. It's, it's $40 a night to stay at the common. You get your own room and bathroom. It's fabulous. Um, and it's not a tourist town. So you have to take the trains to everywhere, but that's, that makes it even better because nobody knows why you're there or you're there. So you really get to spend a quiet retreat time with um, Louisa and all the artifacts. But so this is the um, school. It's huge. Um, that St. Anibli started. The Divine Zeal Sisters, um, the priest, the Order of Priests, and I, um, I want to say Rogationist, but I know that's not it. Um, I'm trying to think what it is. Okay. Say it again. Was it Rogations? I thought it was the Rogations, but then I thought maybe I'd have that wrong. Just I one time, or, or anyways. But this is this. It's huge, so <laughs> you get lost in the massive wow. um, yeah. floors and walls. Uh, this building is just huge, and this isn't even the front of it. So, anyways. Um, <sighs> I came from Magic. Uh, we went to Ireland. There's a connection between Corrado and Ireland, and it's Saint Camaldo. And if you remember in the writings, she was praying that Saint Camaldo would oversee his church because they were going to um, close it. It's the time the Protestants were coming to. We're losing you a little bit, Mary. Yeah, I think she's lost her internet. Yeah. She's going to get around the corner, probably. I don't know if she's on a Wi Fi or. Did she say that that big building was a school Father school. Hannibal? De so, Francia had that started. He started that's that what school made him and he built that. Right? Wow. Isn't that what? Oh, yeah, yeah. The fact enough? that he started the order Not of Louise. And then, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I'm back. Um, Here we go. Yeah, we lost it. I, I'm. I know because I um lost the Wi-Fi, so I'm still yeah. like just showing you outside. So there's a connection between um is with St. Camaldo, and he, there's connections between Corrado and Derry, and as you will learn when you go to the, or if you go to the Cynic, at the conference, Greg Dunn will explain the flame of Ireland will um, ignite all of Europe back to the faith. And so to have the connection of St. Camaldo between Ireland and Corrado, is that is the, of course the spark's going to be the divine will, so it's the spark that will reunite the whole of Europe back to the faith. Um, 
I think that's it to show you. I mean, there's the the room with the artifacts, like I said, is closed off and they're praying the rosary, but I showed you the crucifix. So is there anything else you guys want to see? Or let me, if I walk back in there, let me see if I see something. I'm rambling. It's okay. More seeing. What time is it there now? Um, yeah, eight. Six, uh, hold on. It is 621. Oh. In the morning? Oh. Yep. In the 1821. Yeah. Mary, you 18. showed us the bed. Yeah. Is that bed is that bed as small as it looks? Yeah. Yeah, it does look small. Yes, she is very short. Very, very short. When you see her tomb, you're like, I'm trying to shut this door. When you see her tomb, you're like, oh my gosh, she's like three feet shorter than me. No, that would make her two feet tall. I'm just kidding. She is very short. All right. So my beautiful sisters are not praying the rosary anymore. So this is uh this is it, guys. This is the chapel now. Um where she's where she lived, where she stayed. Um when she was in this convent of the Daughters of Divine Zeal. There's only three sisters here. So, um, and they're not listening to Ryan, guys. Really? They're all, they're all about saying oh. three. There's only three Divine Zeal sisters. Oh. And they're, they're, they're pretty old. So, this whole convent, and it's empty. Um, the people from... Switzerland left yesterday, and um, so it's, it was just me last night, and then they got a new group in, but they're all speaking Italian, so I'm the only, only Americano. Um, there's our Luisa. Um, and the sisters aren't reading her writings. My goodness. How do you know that? Why? Because I'll tell you that they're not reading their writings. Really? It's not part of their, yeah. Part of their order, huh? That's right, it's not part of their order. I get it. Is that her? A bust of her? That's a bust of her, yes. Hmm. Yep. Our Louisa. Let's go back to the room. So then, still can't believe. I mean, that was amazing. And I, I hadn't. I like walked past it, and then I just saw it today. Like that. That's uh. Yeah. Trying to go back to that room. See if I can. Oh, great. That lose. Then they got these cabinets over here that are full of like her pajamas and um, needlepoint and. Um, so forth so that's it just amazing yes um a lot of stuff in english guys or i'd be bringing home more stuff but um i did get the stuff that i could i, I mean they only had one copy of um the uh, um, son of my will in english but they might have more so i'm going to see if they have more and if you guys need one let me know um, the association wants you to read make sure you read her biography because they said it's important to know what was happening in, in, in Italy at the time for example um, the devotion thing was that people were more into the devotions than they were into the sacraments mm -hmm. and that's why Jesus was very um I'm getting back on the elevator so I can go back upstairs. That's why he was very, uh, why he always said this wasn't about devotions um, and just what was happening in the church and that the priests were always so busy because people were always starting new devotions, new rosaries, new, not new rosaries, new novenas and this devotion to this and devotion to that and so forth, that he didn't want this to be something that people would start as a devotion. Does that make sense? Yep. Have I lost you? Oh, because um, I'm in the elevator, so I'm not lost you. We're still here. We're still here. So we knew that, but I think I haven't. I, I, we always knew that. Ooh, start. 
We always knew that, but I have a greater understanding of it's not a devotion. Not that there's anything wrong with some of the devotions, but Jesus is, um, didn't want a group of people to come over and just think that this was a devotion. This is this is where you stay. You know, there's all these rooms. I show you my room, but it gets dirty. But look, these are the rooms you stay in. You know, it's a little bed. Yeah. Get your own bathroom. Your own big window. See. Look at that. Double toilets. Have a conversation. (laughs) (laughs) There's two two of them in there. I thought it was for something else, but anyway. I assume it's for. All right. I'm gonna flip this around. All right. And you guys can. uh, I think I'm gonna flip this around. Okay, and we're gonna. We've been recording this just because of we have no better opportunity to see this probably. So we appreciate. Yeah, and then um, and then I'll send pictures. I absolutely send pictures. Uh, so yesterday, um, we caught a. I caught. I drove up with the the, the ladies from Switzerland, Switzerland to um, Loretto, and uh, we saw the walls. So they. It's always been said that the angels brought the walls of the house of Nazareth to Italy. Yeah. Um, but I just read. He said the the name the family's last name was Angel. And yes, so the angels oh. brought them. Uh, or it could be <laughs> <laughs> angels disguised as humans with the last name angels brought them. But um, that could be too. Yeah, but that was yeah. Anyways, it's an it was it's been an amazing trip. So um, I love it. Francis Hogan. You did were you in, get Francis. Did you meet Francis? How is she? No. Well, she did a private Zoom with us. She's still really um, sick. They're amazed that she didn't have a stroke with how high her blood pressure pressure is. She's got um, Shalom TV. Shalom. Yeah. Um, you know, they're in her house. So we were going to go to her house, but there was no room for us because Shalom, they're still filming her doing um, uh, one of the books. Uh, uh, prescription talks. And then... And then she was going to drive out and meet us in Derry, but she got into her car the day before to go to the grocery store and she was just too ill. Um, the blood pressure is still too high. So she said, there's no way I'm going to drive out. So then I fly back to Ireland on Saturday and stay the night in Ireland because it was cheaper to do a round trip to back and forth from Ireland and fly in her, in her uh, Europe, you know, from one country yeah. to the next than it was to fly one way into your into Ireland, and then <laughs> try to catch a flight back from Italy. Like the it's the one way trip from Italy back to the United States was three thousand dollars. So I was like, oh. it's cheap, much cheaper just to go back to Ireland. Anyways, I'm telling you that because I contacted um, Francis to see uh, if I could go to mass with her on Sunday morning, but she couldn't even do that. She's too busy. So and her doctor really wants her to take thirty days off. Um, try to get her blood pressure back to normal. So, um, and we all want her to finish the the volumes. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. what's important. Yes. Yeah. Church bells ring all the time. You're in Italy, so there's always a mass somewhere being said. Do you hear that? Yeah. Yeah. We hear the first one going. Jolly, so we, where will we you be for the next week? week? We'll get out on. Yeah. You're headed. Let's ask the question. What was that? Where where are you going to be? Okay, I'll be back. Yeah. Travel plans, I guess. I'm here until uh, I'm here in Corrado till Wednesday, and then I go to from Corrado. I go to Naples for a few days, and we catch a I catch a flight. I keep saying we. I catch a flight from Naples back to um, Dublin on Saturday, and then I fly out from Dublin back to the United States on Sunday. Then I'm in the then I'm in Texas for two days and then I'm going to that conference. Woo! Good. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So uh so you won't see me that, that first weekend either. I'll see you. November. You will, yes. Hopefully more people will go, but um we're not. All right. Okay, so we're, we're gonna, gonna... my reading too. We're going to stop the recording of this and then we'll jump <laughs> over to our normal Seneca.
you can go 